It's Hassan Sheikh Mohamud's second time to be president of Somalia. He was in office from 2012 to 2017. Now he's back again. He was inaugurated in a ceremony in the capital Mogadishu. East African countries are facing security challenges from terrorist groups like Al-Shabaab. So it is necessary for us to work closely together to defeat those enemies and save our people. The ceremony took place inside the safety of Mogadishu's Green Zone. It's one of few places that's fully under the control of the government and the foreign militaries that support it. The armed group Al-Shabaab controls much of the countryside. It was in the same room that last month Hassan Sheikh was elected by MPs. The general public doesn't get to vote. The election process was violent, tense and delayed by more than a year. Opponents of Hassan Sheikh's predecessor, former President Mohamed Abdullahi Farmajo, accused him of stalling the vote to stay in power. To be with you, Mr. President. Leaders and representatives of governments from around the region and beyond said they were glad the transition of power had been peaceful. Relations had soured between Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta and former President Farmajo. Their governments had a maritime border dispute linked to offshore oil deposits. Security cooperation and trade suffered. Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud. Now power has changed hands in Mogadishu and so has the mood. Your brothers and sisters in Kenya look forward to working with you so that we can all benefit economically and prosper together. Hassan Sheikh faces major challenges. Somalia is suffering its worst drought in decades with many people on the brink of famine. His last government was marred by corruption scandals. Nobody was prosecuted. The last few years have been tense in Somali politics. For now, the new leader seems to be trying to bring feuding factions together. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera.